So uh, in this video, we want to uh, introduce that how we can install PyTorch and Torch Vision on JSON platforms. So first we do a search on Google like uh, uh, PyTorch JSON Forum. So basically we want to go to the NVIDIA Forum to find a user guide. Uh, the first one, yes. Oh. So we need uh, to do some adjustment to the camera. One second, it's a bit slow. So let's re. Sorry, just to find the camera at the moment. Okay, it looks okay, I guess. So this is the user guide on JSON forum for install PyTorch on, on JSON. Uh, it is different to the uh, procedure on a PyTorch official website. So uh, you have to use the one from NVIDIA rather than PyTorch. Uh, so on this forum, so uh, there are two tabs we needed to look specifically. One is installation here. Another is verification here. So let's have a look at the installation now. So depends on Python vision, uh, version, you choose different procedure because we are using PyTorch. Um, okay, why well, we need to adjust the camera a little bit closer? Yeah. Uh, because we are using PyTorch 3.8, uh, so it is ideal that we uh, use the latest PyTorch version um, rather than the, the the one in the PyTorch uh, 3.6 procedure uh, because it is using a 1.8.0. Uh, so first let's download the uh, 1.12. Okay, so let me uh, walk you through the, the, the command. Uh, so the first command we don't need uh, in our case, but let me tell you what it is. So wget is a command to download file from website, and the website followed uh, wget is the kind of the image, uh, sorry, not the image, the package for PyTorch version 1.8, right? Uh, but because we want to using a uh, later version 1.12 for Python uh, 3.8, so that's why we need to download it manually uh, using the link above. And uh, so how is the process? Download? Mm -hmm. Okay, so after the, the, the package is, the download is finished. Okay, we move this one to the home folder. Okay, yeah. The next we can follow the procedure in this uh, in this code block. So first we copy the the, the this command to install some uh, kind of yeah okay. copy this command to install some packages for PyTorch. This shouldn't. Uh, take too long. Okay, so it's down. Let's proceed and copy the next command. This should be quick.
Okay, it's done. So now let's copy the last command to install NumPy and uh, PyTorch. But be aware, this command also uh, still use the 1.8 version, so we need to modify that to the one we use, uh, 1.12, and you can use the, the tab to auto-fill the name here and click uh, Install. Okay, so while uh, it is installing the PyTorch, we can have a look at the verification uh, tab. Okay, so the verification tab basically provides some code to allow us check the version of PyTorch, CUDA, and CUDAN, as well as running a small tensor addition program. So first, let's open another terminal and uh, and uh, and the type. Uh, G edit to create a new file called the Python, sorry, called PyTorch.py. Okay, so now let's copy the example code to the text editor. And uh, delete some uh, characters. Uh, So basically, this code has 10 lines. So the first one is import torch library. And uh, next, it will print the PyTorch version, the CUDA, and the CUDAN version. And next, it will run a simple tensor addition program that create a tensor A with zero value and create a tensor B with random value. Then they add them together to get tensor C, which should be the value of tensor B. So let's save this file. And we, uh, as you can see, we ha have already finished the, uh, the installation of PyTorch. So now let's run this uh, verification program using Python 3 to, to see whether the installation is successful. Yes, it is successful. As you can see, the Python version is 1.12 and the CUDA is available. CUDAN also installed and the tensor addition gives us the correct result. Okay, so now the installation for PyTorch is finished. Let's move to the installation of Torch Vision. So go up. So for Torch Vision, we uh, just follow the steps here. Uh, so first, we needed to install some packages for uh, Touch Vision. Press Enter to start and uh, choose Yes. This should take some time, but shouldn't be too long. OK, so next we need to clone the uh, Torch Vision uh, repository from GitHub. Here we need to modify the command by enter the correct uh, branch version. Uh, you can find the the version in the forum. You can, as you can see, we installed PyTorch 1.12. So the Torch Vision version should be v0.13.0. So we type v0.13.0 here and press Enter to do the cloning. Uh, well, depends on your kind of internet speed. This might take some time. So uh, we will uh, accelerate the recording now.
Okay, so uh, it is downloaded. So let's follow the procedure. So next, let's uh, CD to the Touch Vision uh, folder. And now we need to set a variable here. Just be aware that you need to replace the X here to the correct version. In our case, it's version 0 0.13, so replace X with 13. And uh, now running uh, this one to install the Torch Vision. This could take about 30 minutes to 40 uh, minutes. So it's quite long. We will also accelerate the recording now. Uh, apart from this uh, command, the next one, CD and also the pipe install pillow, um, it's not really uh, necessary. Like the last one, you only need for Python version 2.7, but not for three, uh, Python version 3 plus, right? And for the CD, uh, I don't think it's necessary here. Okay, so now the installation for Touch Vision is finished. Let's verify the installation. So let's go back to the forum and go to the yeah, verification and copy these two lines of code to, to the, uh, the editor. Now let's save and uh, execute the code to verify. Yeah, so now you can see, uh, we can now see the PyTorch version, Torch Vision version, uh, CUDA, CUDEN, as well as the previous sample uh, program. So which means all the installation of PyTorch and Torch Vision are successful. So this is the end of this video. Thanks for watching.